Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lee Vlogs. Today, we are just going to have a little fun. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to drive manual. Now, I've never done a video like this on my channel at all, um, but I know that manuals are a dying car, right? So, as we go further and further into the future, we're going to like electric cars and all of our cars are going to be automatic. Rarely you're going to be able to see manual cars released in 2021. I know there's a few like the Honda Civic Type R, you can get that in a manual. But like even the new Corvettes, you can't get them in a manual. So the last or these C7s are the last version of a Corvette you can get in a manual that we know of right now. And I'm pretty sure the C8 will never come in a manual form because just the way that power to weight ratio and all that stuff is, it's, it's not going to work in that car. So. Let's teach you guys how to drive a manual C7 Corvette. Welcome to the vlog. All right, so walking up to the baby now. First things first, let's, let's turn off the car so we'll get you get you well acquainted with that. Let's turn off the car first, get you set up, huh? All right, so as you see, we're in the vet now. How I park my car is I just leave it in neutral. Now, some people like to park their cars in first gear and all that other stuff. That's kind of an old school way. Um, a lot of people so say if you park your car on a hill or something like that, and you don't leave it in first gear for whatever reason if your parking brake disengages nothing will catch it at all so that's kind of the safety thing that people have gotten used to is putting your car in first gear in the event that something happens to your parking brake and your gearing will catch your car as a secondary uh, safe failure type shit so that's kind of the the idea now me this is a, a, a newer model car I trust that this little parking gear will not fail me now could it of course of course it could fail me but I trust that it won't so I always park my car in neutral I leave it in neutral that's just how I do my thing all right so getting into a manual car most people this is kind of the habit I do I get into my car I immediately grab my stick shift and I just jiggle it just jiggle it like that Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that it is in neutral. So sometimes, say if I go to a car wash or I just got my vehicle serviced by somebody, they still leave it in first gear or neutral or wherever they do it. They, they leave it in first gear all the time, all the time. And it doesn't bug me or anything because I know what they're doing. They leave it in first gear as a secondary, you know, precautionary measure to save it just in case, you know, the parking brake fails or something. And the gearing will catch the car so the liability won't be in their hands just in case something were to happen if they didn't do that so all the time I go in here see if I go in here and I jiggle it I know okay my hands too far I gotta go right here now I know this is my neutral position good my car's in neutral from there to start this car you have to put your foot all the way on the clutch so pressure in the clutch and then come over here and press in engine start stop. So now the vehicle's on. Air conditioning again, thank God. Okay. <laughs> now, the next part. Even though I know that my car is in neutral right now, my OCD kicks in and I'll press my neutral, or it's not my neutral, I'll press my clutch in again and I'll go and I'll jiggle this again just to make sure. Even though I know the car hasn't stalled or anything, this is an OCD thing is that I'm gonna jiggle this again, just to make sure it's in neutral. I know it's in neutral now, now I'm safe. So, safety first, put on the seat belt, right? Throwing on my seat belt. So, when I was learning how to drive stick, I taught myself how to drive stick for one, so no one ever taught me anything. So I could be driving stick completely wrong. However, I have not gone through any clutches or broken any clutches since I've taught myself how to drive stick. So you guys take that for what you want. Anyways, 
I learned how to drive stick in a right-hand drive uh, Nissan Silvia S15 in Japan. So my steering wheel, everything was on this side, and you know I was on this side. So I had to shift with my left hand. So I was getting used to with my left hand. Then coming back to America, I bought my first stick shift car, which was a 2013 uh, Camaro ZL1. And then from there, I guess you guys can see me when I talk to you guys about this shit. So that was a 2013 Camaro ZL1. And then I traded that in and I bought this. So this is 2014 C7 Corvette. Um, but yeah, I say all that to say is that I learned how to drive stick with my left hand and then about a year or two later, I came back to America and continued to drive stick, but now I'm back on the left hand side of the car. So, let me switch you guys back around. <clears throat> so, the first thing you kind of want to do when you're learning how to drive stick, if you have a higher horsepower car, you don't necessarily have to give your car any gas to make it go forward. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna take it off of park. So put on the brake, my foot is on the brake right now, and park. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my parking brake is gone now, see? It says parking brake release. So my car can roll. I'm not on a hill right now, but if I was, I would be rolling. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in first gear. So foot in. The clutch going into first gear now we're in first gear now I'm gonna slightly let off the clutch and now I'll, as I do this my car since has higher rpms it should catch first gear without me touching the gas pedal so as you can see my foot is completely back away from the gas pedal and I'm gonna let go of the clutch. Now you have to do this very, very slowly, okay? You can't just let it go of it like it's normal. So very, very slowly, and the car is going forward, and we're good. See that? Both my feet are not touching anything right now, and we're rolling. That's the easiest way to get into first gear if you're nervous about uh, giving it enough gas to get in the first gear. That is the easiest way, completely easiest way. We are moving, we are good to go, okay? So we're coming up to a stop. I'm gonna press in the clutch, and I'm gonna press in the brake. So right now, my foot is on the clutch, my foot is on the brake, we're at a stop sign. I don't see any cars right here. Now, say if there were a lot of cars right here, and they don't wanna wait until my car catches first, uh, first gear from just lifting out the clutch. That's when you're gonna want to give it some gas All right in normal driving you're gonna want to give it some gas So the easiest way to do this you're in first gear foot is on the clutch Give it a little gas And as you're giving it gas see we got a car coming right now as you're giving it gas slightly let off your clutch Slightly let off it's So simple so simple so it's a release and press simultaneously at the same time. You can't, you can't lose. So we're gonna do a U-turn right here. It's just a uh, U-turn, U-turn, U-turn. Good to go. This is my old neighborhood, guys. Also, is where I kind of grew up. <laughs> uh, looks like they built a dog park over here or something. So we're back at a stop sign. Now this is a unique stop sign because we are on a hill. So if I let go of my uh, gas pedal or in my brake pedal right now, we're gonna roll back. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Rolling back, rolling back, rolling back, rolling back. So, say if you're on a hill, just leave it in. You can leave it in, uh, like keep your foot on the brake until it's your time to go. Now when you're on a hill, the whole let off the clutch and hope that your car catches, that shit does not work. That shit does not work, okay? Because since you're on a hill, the ability for your car to catch the clutch is uh, significantly more harder on the car. It's harder for it to do because now it has to use more power to catch that uh, clutch. So basically, you can't really do it. I mean, you can, 
but you have to be you have to finesse a little 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 better see I'm doing it right now but that's from experience I don't advise you trying to do the whole release the clutch pedal slowly on a hill. It's just not not smart, not smart at all. But yeah. So the one good thing about me learning how to drive stick shift overseas is that there's a shit ton of hills, like so many, so many hills in uh, Okinawa, Japan. So I got really, really good at driving on hills in a stick shift, knowing that the car's gonna roll back, knowing that I have to get this shit to go or I'm rolling into a bunch of people. So that was part of it. Um, let's see here, am I missing anything? Um, so let's talk about some uh, defensive driving tactics that I kind of use while um, driving around town or whatever. Say if you got somebody riding your ass, right? got somebody riding your ass hard as fuck to each stop sign they don't realize that your car can roll back so they might think your car most people don't think your car is a manual shift car because they have either never seen one or you're just unaware that that's how a manual car works that if you're on a hill it's gonna roll back it's not like an automatic a good automatic that's gonna stay put so say if somebody's riding your ass what I like to do is, as soon as I get to where I want to stop at, I go a little further past it, then I brake, and then I put my car in neutral, and then I let my car roll back intentionally on purpose, like a half inch or two. So the person behind me can see that my car rolls back, and they'll know to go ahead and give me my distance. Because if you don't do that, then you'll have somebody who stops like directly behind you, really, really close, but then you have the opportunity of accidentally rolling back into them. And I believe that's gonna be your fault in an accident. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure if you roll back into somebody, that's your fault in an accident. So just to give them a warning that my car does roll back, I always just let it roll back a little bit after I've gotten further ahead of them at a stop so they can see it, so they can actually see my car rolling back towards them so they know, okay, I gotta give this guy some distance, some space. That's just a defensive driving tactic that I like to do. But uh, let's go through some gears, huh? So we're gonna go through first. Good to go, good to go. So I'm at first right now. I didn't, I'm not even touching my clutch right now. I'm just letting it go, letting it go. All right. Clutch in. Second gear. Clutch in. Third gear. And clutch in. Fourth gear. There you go. I'm in fourth gear right now. Cruising, cruising. Cruising. I'm gonna hit that Yui real quick. So yeah, that's pretty much some general basics of driving a manual uh, car. If you guys got any other questions, tips, anything, please leave those in the comments below. But yeah, I just wanna give you guys some general information on how to drive a manual stick shift car. So we'll just go over the basics one last time before we close out this video. Uh, so yeah, when you get in the car, jiggle your fucking stick shift. Make sure you're in neutral or whatever, or get into neutral. Make sure you're in neutral before you start up your car. You don't wanna start up your car in first gear because you know, you're gonna stall your car. It's gonna look like you're just trying to jump out of your hood. You're not gonna have a good day. If you have a higher horsepower car, you could literally blow up your engine. So don't do that. 
make sure you're you're, you're in uh, neutral next step after you're in neutral you know you're neutral go ahead and start your car up so your car started up boom you hear the fire you hear the bald eagles you're good to go after that if you're fresh and you're new into a driving stick and you don't feel too comfortable with giving it gas and you don't see anybody around go ahead and just let off the clutch very slowly the car will catch and you'll be able to go forward okay now if you want to go ahead and get into giving it gas which i i advise because i mean you're gonna fail a few, a few times you're gonna install your car a few times just know that it does you know it, it's bad on the car you install your car but you got to do it to learn how to drive stick so anyways so i advise yeah go ahead and to drive your car with giving it gas into first and second and third that's how you're supposed to drive a manual car so just give it a little a little throttle blip and let off the clutch you can hear your car coming down like that so I usually don't go past maybe a thousand rpms when I'm going into first because it's unnecessary you could go all the way up to 2,000, but literally anything past 2,000 is like overkill, and you're gonna probably end up spinning your tires and causing a scene. So just don't go past maybe a thousand, or a little bit past a thousand. Maybe like 1,100 is a good, good sweet spot just to balance your gas at your RPMs at before you let go of that clutch. But uh, yeah, and after that, it's just you know same thing, rinse and repeat. So you want to go into second gear, go ahead and clutch in, and then boom. You're in second gear, clutch in, boom, third gear, clutch in, boom, fourth gear, all that. Uh, defensive driving techniques, if you're on a hill or a slight uh, incline or whatever, and you see somebody kind of riding your ass a little bit, go ahead and uh, speed up all the way up until that stop, and then once you get to that stop, get in neutral, get on the brake, and then let your car roll back a little towards them so they can see that your car rolls back so they know to give you, give you some space. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that I'm missing about driving stick? Um, let's see. Let me let me give you some truths. <laughs> so, some truth about driving stick. It's not fun in traffic. So, if you can get a daily, but it's not it's not fun to drive a stick in traffic at all. Stop and go traffic. Your leg may get tired, especially if you're a new uh, stick shift driver. Your leg is gonna get tired as fuck. But uh, me, I, I've gotten used to it. I kind of know how to drive in traffic with a stick, if that makes sense. We're, we're to the point where my leg doesn't get tired at all. Um, but it's just from experience. Um, let's see, anything else? Am I missing anything else? You guys let me know. Just drop something down in the comment. You got questions, you got other inside tips, all that other stuff. You guys let me know down in the comments below but uh thank you guys for coming around also thank you for the support i think we're at like 1248 subscribers right now so on the way to 1300 closing in on that so thank you guys so much for the support thank you guys for the support with the uh what you call seat cover video tell me guys what you think of them these are pretty pretty cool huh pretty cool pretty cool um but yeah guys until next time leave vlogs out <laughs> Bye.